Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. And this evening, we are going to finish this book, Which Way to Freedom? And other questions about the Underground Railroad. We are on page 30. And this is the picture. Can you see it? Okay. From fugitive to freedom. Fighter. I was reading that in the reverse. And this is what it states of under the pictures. Many people who escaped slavery spent their lives helping other African Americans gain their freedom and civil rights. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass fled slavery in Maryland as a young man. He worked in the anti-slavery movement and later for the rights of African Americans. Henry Bibb. Henry Bibb ran away from a Kentucky plantation, eventually settling in Canada, where he started a newspaper called Voice of the Fugitive, Sojourner Truth. Sojourner Truth was a famous abolitionist who gave speeches telling of her own painful experiences while enslaved. Her words convinced others that slavery was wrong. Robert Smalls. Robert Smalls escaped by piloting a Confederate boat through Charleston's harbor and over to the Union side during the Civil War. He went on to serve as a U.S. Congressman. Page 31. Does slavery still exist? Hmm. Hmm. The 13th Amendment abolished all slavery in the United States in 1865. By then, slavery was already illegal in Europe and Canada. The few remaining places in South America and the Caribbean where slavery was still legal soon followed. Some of the last nations to outlaw slavery were in the Middle East and North Africa. The Saharan Desert country of Mauritania, or Mauritania, I'm going to spell that, is M-A-U-R-I-T-A-N-I-A, -A -A. didn't abolish slavery until 1981. Today, the enslaving of any human being is illegal everywhere. Slavery is a crime worldwide. But slavery exists in the 21st century. Moms and sons, dads and daughters are still being brought, are still being bought. I said brought. Mm still being bought and sold like property. An estimated 30 million men, women, and children across the planet are enslaved. Half lived in India. Modern slavery is often called human trafficking. Enslaved people today have many faces. Some are children, forced to work or beg for money that goes to their owners. Others are young girls, made to marry men and become 
family servant. Workers are sometimes tricked into slavery by con artists and coyotes, people who smuggle workers across the borders. Sometimes people may think they're being hired for jobs overseas, but when they arrive, they're forced to work without being paid. Hmm. In parts of South Asia and West Africa, some babies are born into slavery still. Some cultures have local traditions that view certain groups of classes. Excuse me, I'm going to repeat that. Some cultures have local traditions that view certain groups or classes of people as enslaved from birth. Hmm. Like long ago, workers on the Underground Railroad, compassionate people, are still helping enslave people find freedom. Today's Freedom fighters have something previous generations didn't. The law is on their side. International organizations and governments are working to stop human trafficking. Freedom is a human right that belongs to all people. Now, what I have for you, the last page we have here, maybe you could see those. I'm going to go a little closer. See the different dates? That's what we're about to go through. It's the Underground Railroad Timeline. 1619. Captured Africans brought to Jamestown Settlement in Virginia become the first enslaved people in England's North America American colonies 1662 to 1705 Virginia helps slavery become a permanent institution over the following decades by declaring all enslaved people to be property including children born to enslaved mothers 1777 to 1804 Vermont Massachusetts New Hampshire Pennsylvania Rhode Island Connecticut New York and New Jersey abolish slavery some of the states do it so gradually freeing only those born after a certain year Hmm. 1808. The United States outlaws the importation of captured Africans. However, enslaved people can still be bought and sold within the nation. 1820. First documented use of the term Underground Railroad when describing a secret network that helps enslave people escape. 1835. Southern states forbid the mailing of anti-slavery propaganda and abolition workers are threatened and pressured to move away. Sound familiar? 1850. The United States Congress passes the Fugitive Slave Act, making the federal government responsible for returning runaways to slaveholders and not allowing accused fugitives a trial. 1857. The United States Supreme Court declares that no black person 
is a citizen or it can ever be and that Congress has no authority to outlaw slavery. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again in 1857 just to reiterate what I just said. The United States Supreme Court declares that no black person is a citizen or can ever be and that Congress has no authority to outlaw slavery. Hmm. Or can ever be. Hmm. Wonder who wrote that down? Who wrote that in the books? The Supreme Court declared it in 1857. You know we got an 18. 2018. Just, just taking you back to 1857. Let's keep it moving right along. 1861 to 1865. After the southern states seceded and formed a confederacy, the United States fights the Civil War, which claims 623,000 lives. 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issues the Emancipation Proclamation freeing all enslaved people in the Confederate States. 1865. The 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution outlaws slavery. The Union wins the Civil War. The Underground Railroad stops running. For bibliography and further readings, visit www.sterlingpublishing, all one word, S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G, P-U-B-L-I-S-H-I-N-G, dot com, backslash, like that, backslash, Good, G double O D, hyphen, question spelled out, Q U E S T I O N. And that does complete the book. Finishing the book, and we're closing it. And that is the front picture. And I'll also show you the back. Oh, look at the moon. And the back reads, painting, photographs, maps, and a timeline completed. Complement, not completed, complement the text to offer a fascinating account for young readers who love information. The format is irresistible. Kirkus Reviews. What was the Underground Railroad? Why was there slavery in the United States? Who was Harriet Tubman? And does slavery still exist? Find out the questions to these and other fascinating questions about the Underground Railroad. Good question. Books explore what you really want to know about extraordinary people and events in history. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned because we do have some to do of the Maya Angelou. So until then, be blessed. Peace be upon you and your family too. And I'll be talking with you real soon here on Palm Praise 2. All right. Later, y'all.